Yeah, now let's do some chieftaincy issues. Now, a committee put together to investigate and propose solutions to the Gam Mancha chieftaincy dispute is recommending the disqualification of two of them. That's one, Ni Adamalache the second and Ni Taki Obli the second as candidates for recognition. The committee's report released in Accra yesterday after extensive consultation and hearing settled on Ni Tekotru the second as the qualified candidates to be recognized as Ga Manchen. If you know, three of them have been laying claim uh, to this stew. Georgia's editor, Fred Smith, has a copy of the committee's report, and he joins me um, now in studio. Fred, you're welcome. Thank you very much. Kitty. So d tell us, first of all, who were on this particular committee? Well, the committee, first of all, was set up by the traditional spiritual head of the Gandang base, mm. he's the overlord more or less. Okay. Bobu Wulomo, he's Wulomo Kono Bokete Lawe Chu, the 33rd. And this committee he put together was chaired by retired Supreme Court Judge Justice V. C. R. A. C. Krupp, mm. who we all know died late last mm. year. Upon his death, Justice Julia Na Yali Sakodia Mensa, uh, she's also a judge mm -hmm. on the committee and she was made the chair uh, to replace the uh, VCRAC crab, the chair who passed away. And there were 10 other eminent persons also in this committee. In all, uh, they include uh, Reverend Dr. Lawrence Tete, I'm sure you know him so yeah. well, and others, uh, uh, Professor Ni Odate Mills, also a very renowned researcher. Okay, interesting. So they've concluded, or well, this result has, uh, the report concludes that. The two, two of the claimants should be disqualified. Only one in the person of Nite Kuchu, the second, should uh, be the substantive or be recognized as the substantive uh, claimant to the stew. But why do they conclude that Ni Adamalache and Ni Taki Obli, the second, are not qualified candidates? Well, the committee disqualified the two men first due to their exhibition of violent behavior. This is also in the report. That's what the report states. That's what the report right. says. And other reasons based on their family backgrounds. Uh, they, in fact, strongly condemn them for those actions. And I mm. present to you what they said about them individually. Verbatim. The, uh, exactly. Yeah. In, not verbatim, but okay. what they said about what, them what they, in, okay. in summary. In the case of Adam Alache II, the, the committee first questions his lineage mm. and wonders how he managed to get the National House of Chiefs to secure, uh, to convince the National House of Chiefs to mm. get their blessing so they allow him to be gazetted okay. as the legitimate government chair. The report suggests that Ni Adamalache could have secured the blessing of the regional house of chiefs either through fraudulent means mm. or possibly a genuine mistake or failure on the part of the house of chiefs to do due diligence. Ni Adamalache is also accused of violence. Now the committee says it has evidence that his supporters forcefully, uh, forcibly broke into the gas two room a place they consider to be uh, sacred. The report also questions if a person who has demonstrated such lack of respect for customary law should be accepted as ruler of the Ghana state. A mm. question that was not answered in this report, okay. I'm sure uh, it's something they throw into the public or the okay. Ghana people. Okay. So the committee even questions his tool name. Mm. They asked, for instance, how he got Adama Lacha II when there's never been Adama Lacha I. Interesting. Yes. So well, the yeah. other person uh, who has been penciled for disqualification is Nitaki Obli. Mm -hmm. Now he's accused of giving 15,000 Ghana cities to the Osu Manchani Kadwona the sixth, as who we know is the president, the president of the, of the uh, yeah, Greater Accra Regional House of Chiefs. Right. And based on this, the, the committee says he's disqualified as a candidate for the Ghana Manche position. The committee recommended that he's banned from entering the Bobu Kun for the performance of the appropriate chieftaincy rights by Bobu Wulomo, effectively saying they don't want him to be a chief anymore because mm. all chiefs must uh, be there to perform rights. And, and, and just so you know, uh, let's share this with our viewers. We'll be getting to speak to um, the, uh, uh, the traditional... Uh, leader, the, the traditional spiritual leader of the Ga people, Ga Dangwe, is uh, Babu Wulomo. Wulomo Kono. Uh, well, B Babu Wulomo, we'll be getting to talk to him. He's actually on standby for us. We're live in, in, in his home 
and we'll be getting to talk to him so that he will help us answer some of these questions that uh, have come up. But before we do that, Fred, what, what's going to happen next? Yeah, we know Babu that you'll be speaking to shortly. Mm. Uh, he actually commissioned this investigation, so the report's actually on his labs. It's been presented to him, so uh, mm. when we speak to him, we get some more information. So uh, going forward, what they've said is that now that these two have been disqualified mm -hmm. or been recommended for disqualification, it is left with only one. That's King Ninteko II. Mm -hmm. Now, the report asked the lawful Ga Paramount to Jasiche, who is in the person of Ni Tetekwe II, to do what is required to move the processes forward in accordance with appropriate Ga customary law. It's strongly recommended that Babu Wulomo Siche calls a meeting of the four ruling houses and impress on them the responsibility which they bear for peace and orderly development of the Ghana state. Okay, Fred Smith there is editor here at uh, Joy News. He's also the producer of this show. Jo um, um, did I just call you George? <laughs> Fred, thank you very much for bringing us up to speed on this information contained in this report. Um, that we've just seen this afternoon. Let me go on the li uh, on, uh, live now uh, to speak to the head of the Ga, traditional and spiritual head of the Ga Dangways, Babu Wulomo. Uh, sir, thank you very much for your time this afternoon uh, here on uh, and on the post. Thank you so much as well. Mm. It's been many years of uh, chieftaincy disputes here in Accra, and a lot of people have be bemoaned how much the Ga state has lost because of this uh, conflict that, to that has taken so long. It looks like you're uh, gradually getting to an end of that, of that era. This is a very significant moment for Ga people, wouldn't you say? Uh, certainly so. Uh, given the background, like you've rightly indicated, um, I wouldn't want to go so much into that because it's not prudent for me to be able to, to, to wash our dirty clothes uh, in, in public. What, what ought to be done has been done indoors, and that should be enough for now. I'm still going through the report, and whatever recommendations or findings that have been uh, churned out, I certainly have to work on those things. Okay. So now let's look at the report. In terms report. of a background issue, mm. um, I wouldn't want to, 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 to really do it. No problem. So now let's look at the report. We've just highlighted what the report says. And basically the report is disqualifying two of the claimants to the stool and qualifying one of them. Let me find out uh, from you, first of all, whether all three claimants are aware about the recommendation of this report. Do they know? Well, the report was officially um, launched yesterday, and uh, uh, I believe with time they, they, they should get to know. I was only uh, privileged to have mine a day before, and as I sit here, uh, still going through the contents of the report. So as I'm able to finish reading the report with my elders, then we'll be able to take the next steps to address the issues raised in the report. So essentially, the report says to disqualify the two people. Um, um, Ni, uh, the two people, Ni Adamalache the second, and Ni Taki Obli the, the second. How will that be done? Well, like I've seen, um, I just received a couple of my report to this today. And I'm only going through. I, I really, I, I only commission the, the committee to work on those challenges, and once they worked, I wasn't a member of the committee, so I wouldn't have that uh, certainty in, in, in determining why one or two were disqualified. And I'm able to go through the report and take the next steps that have been recommended. Okay. Well, a part of the recommendation also says that um, Ni Taki Obli uh, is accused of giving 15,000 to Osumanche, Ni King Kadowona the sixth, um, as president of the Greater Accra Region House of Chiefs. And as such, he's disqualified as candidate for the government chair position. What, what, what are your thoughts on that bit of the uh, report? Um, it's quite really disheartening if, if, if 
that came up, and certainly came out. That's why the, 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 the report captured that aspect. Uh, it's, 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 it's quite disparaging. It's, it's not the best interest of this sacred institution that the citizens or the indigenous look up to. Certainly, like I said, let, I want to uh, comprehensively go through a report mm. and address those areas as and uh, when it is necessary. Okay. So what does this new development mean for the gas state um, going forward? I mean, recently we've seen what happened in the northern region, in Yendi, where they have a new Yana and uh, hopefully, you know, peace reigns as it goes forward. This afternoon, we've heard that one of the one of the claimants if you like to the stew or, or to, to, the, to the overlord ship has been given another skin and it looks like great progress for the peace process that has been initiated there with what is happening here in gardangme what do you envisage the future holds uh what's going to happen next for the gas state Thank you so much. I think that the future holds good for Gandang State. It holds good because once in a lifetime, there must be recession. A recession will have to set in, in your life. And we take in account of the recession that we experience as Gandang people. And what really has happened today could, 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 could take a further step in, in those stemming the tide and take our pride you know, among the, the various jurisdictions as far as our tradition is concerned. And I think that we have a very uh, a checkered history that will be protected and guarded mm. into the future. Um, the Yana issue is, is a, a typical example as to what we should also do in protecting our heritage, in protecting our image. It's a brand that we'll have to really work on again you know, to, to be accepted mm. as, as proud Gadangwe people. Well, hopefully that happens for you and in a short uh, short. Uh, time but why did it have to take the gas day so long to fix this problem the way it has been fixed it's quite pathetic and i wouldn't want sitting here to uh turn this in out into the public domain. everybody's quite oblivious oblivious of, of what really has taken us to this uh, uh, state uh, it's, it's not for me to talk about it mm. but then, then then as as proud people as proud people we have taken a, a, a stock of, of the you know, disharmony that originated among our people. And I think that that disharmony, that brought about that disunity, will never recur again as far as we live as an entity. Well, my final question to you, sir, is how you're going to manage the various interests at play. Because each of these claimants, they have their own followers. And... Um, it, it will be it will be one of the things that will be expected of uh, uh, you know implementing the report is how to manage the followers of these claimants. Thank you very much. It's quite a very valid question. Um, that that is the the, 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 the the gist of everything. Every every true guy indigenous. Every true Ga indigenous that holds to heart our pride in terms of our tradition, our culture, our custom, she want to know that we have been able to wash our dirty clothes in the open for too long a time. We have been able to, to lose our dignity as a people. And if it is for us together and collectively to work on our shortcomings, I believe that they truly have Ga state, Ga Adangu state in, on their hearts, they will be able to accept our shortcomings and address those shortcomings adequately by taking custody of the report that has been uh, given to us. It's only people with selfish interests, self-centeredness, that will be able to derail, you know, whatever uh, 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 prospects that this report has for the Ghana language state. Mm. I just want to create uh, the, their indulgence to once sit around the same table, ponder of our shortcomings, seriously and think into the future as what the current generation will inherit from us to we go tomorrow. If that contrast becomes so positive, I believe nobody will take anything to heart, heart to heart, rather to accept the notion that it is time for us as proud young people to take the bull by the horn and, and move forward as one people. I've challenged the committee because until all these things are done, 
their work is not complete. Mm. So, yes, go ahead, sir. So they, they still have to work around certain uh, difficult areas, and I know by the time that we we, we, we step out, everybody will be, will be proud to call itself a Gandangwe indigene. Thank you very much. I've been speaking to the traditional head of the Gandangwe, uh, Bobu Bulomo, and it's on the back of a committee that a committee report put together to investigate and propose solutions to the long-standing Ga Manche chieftaincy dispute. Now we can. So. We, earlier on, we spoke to um, uh, Justice Juliana Yalesa Kodia Mensa, who is uh, the judge who took over uh, the work of VCRAC Crab on the committee. Again, a history from our migration from Israel and how we came here. We we continue to go to to talk about how we settled at Ayawaso, and how Ayawaso was destroyed, and how we moved to the coast. We, we looked at all that. We also looked at all the wars we fought and how we went, fought with the Aquamos when we were defeated, when we won. We talked about the Katamanso War of 1733 and the other one of 1826. We talked about all of them. That will give you background to, for you to know where you are going. Then we went further and interviewed the people to learn from them about the royal houses. So we found out there are four royal houses where the Manchame will come from. And then we worked from history backwards to forward to find out where is the house now where the chief must come. And we found out where he should come and we have made our recommendations on that. We've also ended by, by making recommendations and telling the Ga people what we should do to be able to have peace. For example, we are recommending and we are going to put it in effect that at every stage there must be a certification. So when you are selected, there must be a confirmation. When your CD, the uh, chief tenancy declaration forms are going to the traditional council, there must be an endorsement and everything. Because that's the other problem we have. Yeah, so we, we, we've done all that. You had uh, Justice Juliana Yalesa Kodie Mensa, who is a, one of the judges on the committee that looked into the Gat Chieftaincy dispute.